Today we're going to make a selection using our Easy Selector tools for surge protective devices. Let's start by selecting surge protective devices from our menu in the Easy Selector tools. On the left hand side you can see that there are useful links such as frequently asked questions, cross-reference tool, and etc. Down below that there's some helpful information to get you started. We have information on residential surge protection, OEM surge protection, and commercial industrial. Now let's take a look over at our product subset. Residential surge protection, OEM surge protection, commercial industrial surge protection, OEM assembler kits, and our internally mounted retrofit ready to install TVSS units. Let's select residential surge protection. As you can see, we have our system voltages, how to mount it, whether or not we're going to plug it into a load center, etc. Let's go ahead and go back and let's select 120, 240, single phase, three wire. We're going to go ahead and mount this inside the load center. As you can see, we have all of our information filled out that needs to be filled out, and we've generated a part number. We also have the opportunity to add any accessories. As you can see here, this is an accessory to mount the load into the load center. Let's reset this. Then we can go ahead and go back to the very beginning by selecting up here. Now we're going to go ahead and do commercial industrial surge protection. As you can see that the options have increased. Let's go ahead and select 48277. We're also going to go ahead and select our peak surge current rating. And we're going to mount this indoor. Here you have an opportunity to choose from load side and line side protection. We're going to choose load side protection. We don't need any filtering, so we're just going to go ahead and select no. And we don't need a disconnect switch, so we'll select no here also. As you can see, we've generated a part number. This part number is one that can be mounted externally. You also have an option to get a remote indicator. We're going to go ahead and go back. And now we're going to select our OEM surge protection devices. As you can see, this is very quick.